So the Destiny 2 gameplay reveal just happened, and I'm going to go over some things that you may have missed during it. Alright, so first we see Zavala with a spear. Possibly we have spears. Um, here we have a blade. Now both of these are... Maybe he picked them up just for the cinematic, because they are both fallen weapons. He possibly just picked them up. Um, here we see him with a... Well, looks to be like an M16. I don't really know guns, but I, it looks like an M16. And this is the only other military gun we see in this trailer. Um, similar to the Kovastov, maybe it's like a, the first gun we receive um, once we are like thrown out of the tower and whatnot. We see a small camp here. I believe this to be Guardi the Guardian camp on Earth. Here he uses a gun as a melee weapon. Might just be a cinematic thing. Here he does back-to-back -back supers. Again, might just be in the cinematics. Um, you know, we never saw this in the actual gameplay when they were playing the game, but who knows, maybe it might be a mechanic in some area. Here we see Ikora teleport with Cade. Might be it's another cinematic thing, or there might be actual warlock teleportation. The first gameplay we see immediately, the thing, first thing I noticed was we have three abilities. First one is obviously the grenade, second one is the punch. And the last one, I don't know how you activate it, but we will see the activation of it soon. Um, ammo drops look different. You can see that just dropped special and primary ammo, or as they're known here, kinetic and energy weapon ammo. Um, enemies have these weird symbols beside their names. And here we can see the heavy drop gives you one rocket. Here we see the third ability used. It looks like it's a healing aura. Again, don't know how it's used. Probably a button combination of some sort. Clan emblem on a gun. Um, I believe this to be a clan emblem, but it doesn't, I don't know, it's so out of the ordinary of all the other guns that I, I don't think it could be anything else but some sort of clan emblem. Third ability, um, this is the same as we saw before, but instead of being a healing aura, it's now an empowering rift. Or instead of a healing rift, it's an empowering rift. So I guess you can um, customize these in your subclass, it looks like. Angel of Light returns for the warlocks. Here we can see... A hunter maybe shade stepping, or it looks he it looks like he tumbles differently. So it might be a new form of movement for a hunter. Widow's Court as a playable space. And here we see this what looks to be an NPC. I say this because he doesn't have a helmet on and he he is talking, so he's giving some exposition. And craziest of all, I think, is he's carrying a no land beyond with a what looks like to be a special customization on it. So that's kinda cool. Maybe no land beyond returning, maybe, who knows. This gun the hunter shooting here was a exotic heavy that was leaked during the, ta the Taken King. Um, it looks the same as what was data mined, and here it is now. So, yeah, just uh, just an interesting little tidbit there. Um, all the guns that I believe were in this trailer that do apply to these are sidearms, pulse rifles, scout rifles, auto rifles, hand cannons, submachine guns, and mini guns. So I believe these all have kinetic and energy variants that can be. Um, used at the same time, which is kind of cool. In terms of power weapons, um, what I've seen from the trailer is grenade launcher, rocket launchers, shotguns, snipers, and swords. So that's what I'm assuming are the majority of the power weapons. Here we see, when he goes over the sidearm, there is a node that says, no weapon mod is applied. Possibly have weapon mods to alter the look or the statistics of a gun. Um, we'll just have to wait and see on that one. Max level maybe 20. Max light possibly 300 I'm guessing. Here we can see Glimmer is still being used as currency. These purple shards possibly replace legendary marks and instead of discipline, intellect, strength we have armor, agility, and recovery. This is probably the Titan's new third ability as the warlock did that um, little aura. Once again here we can see that weapon that was leaked in the, t in the Taken King. So here he's on the directory screen on the planet and if we look at the top left we can see these icons. These are probably how you actually um, like look for activities while you're on a planet. And here we can see on Earth is the Guardian Camp, which was shown earlier with Zavala. Sparrows have these little things on the front of them. Nothing really crazy, just a little uh, little cosmetic change. Here we see this whack new enemy. It looks like a flying knight. Um, you can see he has kind of wings. He looks like a boomer knight. And who knows? Who knows how many more crazy enemies are going to add? Because this is just ridiculous. If that, if that thing flies around and rains down boomer shots on you, that's actually terrifying. This hand cannon has a massive magazine. This is probably an exotic hand cannon because it was showed during the time they were talking about exotics, so pretty cool. A supercharged Vex. Um, 
He's the only Vex in the room that does have this kind of golden outline, so that's interesting. Here we see the Hunter possibly shade, or no, not even possibly, in this it's absolutely shade step. He goes invisible for a few frames and he rolls, so shade steps back, which means possibly they have the same um, subclasses, or maybe they just integrated shade step into a different subclass. Nightfall has two modifiers. Uh, they might add more, some Nightfalls might have more modifiers than others, who knows. Here we can see the Nightfall has actually four modes. You can do Normal, Normal Seeker, Normal Guide, and Heroic. So it looks like there's a, a harder version of the Nightfall, which is kind of cool for endgame stuff. And if you actually look what it's saying, it says, Siva Corrupted Fallen have made their next have made their next inside a crash chip. That is an incomplete sentence. We cannot allow Siva to gain a foothold here. Siva are back in Destiny 2. Confirmed. Two modifiers are momentum, time warp, anomalies. I don't know what the hell those mean, but those are two new modifiers. And in the next thing we can see matchmaking queue lengths. Um, so there's going to be queue length timer, like estimated time, which is nice. I appreciate that. Um, expected time commitment, 45 minutes. And the craziest thing, nightfall pass required, 10 remaining. So I'm assuming by this, you might get 10 nightfall passes every week, and maybe you're only allowed to enter the nightfall 10 times. If you don't beat it within those 10, then that sucks for you. It also... Um, maybe you're able to enter and receive loot 10 times then instead of just like a regular three but once again who no one knows here we see soyuz 610 is in the farm social so along with the guardian camp possibly the farm is another social space and we can also see the player count is 2 out of 26 which means they bumped the player count in the social spaces from 16 to 26. the sniper scopes are dual rendered Either that or just this sniper rifle in general is a dual rendered scope. Here we can see Zavala with a sword. This gun, I'm assuming this is also an exotic hand cannon just by how unique it looks. We can see when he shoots the legionary or whatever, he explodes. Um, and it was only a body shot. So possibly this exotic hand cannon has like a body shot version of Firefly or something. If it does, that's pretty freaking sick. Anyways, guys, this was. Um, all, all I really found when I was looking through these. Uh, if you enjoyed this video at all, please leave a like, and I am so excited to make Destiny 2 content for y'all, so take care.